Hey guys, Vincent Rose here, H2G Fitness, coming to you from beyond the wheel of my car. I hope everybody is having an incredible day today. It is um, a Wednesday. I'm en route to the gym, and um, needless to say, I was definitely going to make today a rest day. Uh, tired, man. I was up last night recording videos, doing stuff like that, and uh, whatever it else is that I do at night while the rest of the world sleeps, and um, running on about two hours of sleep right now, and had a whole full day at work, did that whole deal, and I'll be honest with you, it was just a long, 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 tired day, and I don't feel like doing freaking squat other than, you know, I didn't feel like doing anything other than going home, getting some sleep, uh, have some appointments booked tonight with some clients and some stuff like that, but from a standpoint of going to the gym and putting in effort, and I mean like real effort because it's back day, so you already know it's time to move some snake in mountains. Um, just not feeling it, man. But that being said, um, sometimes, even though you probably shouldn't, you just got to say heck with it, man, and freaking push yourself. You got to... Um, push past what you think your limits are and push your body to places that it doesn't necessarily want to go. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about doing this so often that you cause injury and all this kind of crap. But what I am saying is there's some times that your body is just completely run down or so you think, but you know, your mind is still willing and at the end of the day, it's not your mind that has to listen to your body. It's your body that has to listen to your mind. I don't give a crap how I'm feeling. If I tell myself I'm going to go stink and do something, my body's going to follow. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't have much of a choice. Where your brain goes, your body will follow 10 times out of 10. And so, you know, I understand that, you know, you don't want to overtrain and, you know, sleep is important and you need to rest and it's not good to push yourself too hard because you might get injured and all this kind of stuff. But I'm going to tell you like a friend, man, sometimes you just got to say, screw it and push yourself past limits that you don't even know you're capable of doing. If anything, I don't even know how productive it's going to be, but I'll promise you this. I'm going to build some stinking character today. That's for sure. Uh, Vincent Rose is going to prove to Vincent Rose that want to know what? Just because I don't feel like it and I might not be in the mood and I might be run down and all this kind of crap, I can still not only go do work, but I can have a bad of the freaking bone workout, push my body to a point, um, you know, that I didn't even know I could push it to. And in the process of doing, not only will I become physically stronger, I'm going to become mentally stronger in the process. And so, look, just because you don't always feel like doing something, to heck with it, man. Freaking do it anyways. You don't have to always feel like it to go. You don't always have to be in the mood to go get the job done. You don't always have to have, you know, a, a psyched up feeling to go put in work. Sometimes you just got to say, I don't give a freaking crap if I feel like it or not. I'm making the decision to go do it. Therefore, I'm going to do it. So this is just one of those days. It's just one of those moods that I'm in. It's probably what happens whenever you're running on two hours of sleep and uh, you should be resting. And for whatever reason, uh, the winner in you just kind of rises up and says, I don't have any quit in me, man. You know what I mean? So looking forward to it. I'll probably take some video and or pictures uh, of today's workout and all that kind of jazz and might even record another workout tonight. Not a workout, but another uh, you know video tonight and all that kind of stuff. But guys, look, there is so much more inside of you than you really, really, really realize. I promise you that. There is a freaking winner, a champion, a stinking overcomer, and just flat out butt kicker that you have deep down inside of you that you just need to stinking unleash and say, wanna know what? It's time to blow the freaking doors off the hinges and live life in a manner that is just wide open where you're pursuing goals, making crap happen, not waiting for things to come your way, but just going and stinking getting them. Don't wait for your boat to freaking come in. Swim out to that bad boy. Don't stinking rust out, burn out if you have to. And I'm just going to tell you, life on fire is a hell of a lot better than life on ice, in my opinion. So with that, over and out, guys. Vincent Rose, H2G Fitness. 
the future is bright. Something good is happening. This workout is going to be bad to the flipping bone. And uh, if you're not, re you know, subscribed to the channel yet, I'll encourage you to do so. <laughs> if you got anything out of this, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, ideas, any of these things, leave them in the comment section down below. So you guys be blessed. Take care. Over and out. Bye.